This is Jordan the Great. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft Jurassic World Edition. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of work in the park, uh, checking out some dinos, maybe even birthing some dinos or, or creatures. You guys know you guys know the drill. <laughs> Everything in the park is a dino, whether it's a dragon or it's a mammal of, of, of ancient proportions, whichever. Anyway, uh, the point is that we're going to be doing some work in the park, and I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit today because um, I do have some things that I need to kind of lay out with you, and I'm doing this in all of my series this week, so if you watch multiple of my series, you've probably heard the discussion we're going to be having today, um, but I think it's important since, uh, since like, this series specifically gets, you know, twice the views of any of the other series, there's obviously people who watch this series who don't watch any other series, uh, and so I wanted to, I wanted to touch base with everybody, uh, and make sure everyone knew what was going on, um, uh, because there's gonna be some changes coming to the channel this summer, um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, anyway, so, <clears throat> let's start off first here, uh, while we're out here at the dig site, um, I want to go ahead, let's grab a couple of Pokeballs here, um, I need to grab a cow, uh, yeah, yeah, and we should have, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was, alright, in here, let's grab this one on the edge, boom baby, alright, uh, because I want to, I've been doing a little bit of work at the top of the park, uh, and so I would like to go ahead and see if we can't hatch, or hatch, I say hatch, I mean birth. Everything, everything's a dinosaur and everything is hatched uh, in the park. Um, I wanted to go ahead and birth a new um, saber tooth. So we had Diego hanging out here for a while last episode, I think. We took, uh, we took all the dinos from this dig, dig site out to their respective areas. So right now we are devoid of residents at present. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and I think I wanna get a new um, a new uh, uh, pen mate for Diego. And actually while we're here, let's grab a name tag because we did get a couple of name suggestions. So thank you guys so much for, uh, for those who participated in, in giving name suggestions. Uh, but we did get a name suggestion for uh, Poseidon's little lady friend. Uh, and so that is going to be, let me, let me look, get this note out here because otherwise I'm going to miss it. Uh, Amphitrite. Amphitrite. Yep, yeah, that's what we wanted. Um, and that was suggested by, ooh, that's why we stack these up, I guess. Uh, that was suggested by Kate Black. So thank you so much, Kate, for your continued suggestions there. Um, and so that's going to be the name of uh, Poseidon's little lady friend uh, because that is actually the name of Poseidon's little lady friend. That's the... Uh, Roman goddess, I think? Roman or Greek goddess, uh, who was the wife of Poseidon. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's, that was, seemed like a great name suggestion, and so that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, if I can name her, I guess is going to be, uh, the other question, but, uh, but yeah. So let's head this way, and... Oh, okay, for a second there, it looked... <laughs> It looked like Dolly's name tag was up on the, like, in the, uh, in the restaurant here, and that confused me. I was like, wait, what are we, oh, wait. Dolly, you are up at the restaurant. What are you doing, girl? Uh, hold on. Uh, we did, we did have another Pokeball. Let's go ahead and, how did she get up here? She shouldn't, she shouldn't be able to get up here. I don't know, but uh, let's put Dolly back here in her enclosure. I'm glad I happened to be gazing over at the, uh, it was it was kind of an optical illusion, because even like there, it looks like she's up in the restaurant, but, <laughs> okay, well, Dolly, you, you stay, you know, in the enclosure, that would be great. We can't have a real Jurassic Park kind of thing going on where the dinos are escaping and everybody's losing their minds and da 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 da. All right. We're back on with the uh, with the park here. So, um, heading over, we're gonna try and name <laughs> we're gonna try and name Poseidon's little lady friend. Hopefully, she's somewhere where we can actually get access to her. Um, but they're pretty uh, pretty aggressive over here. So that's uh, that's gonna be a bit of a challenge potentially. Okay, she is over here on the edge. Um, need to find a way to do this without. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, 
Wait, now I don't know. I'm assuming she's the smaller one. She's swimming all the way over there, though. Okay. Okay. They seem to be cohabitating nicely, so that's good. Um, there we go. I think we got her. I think we got her. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think we got her. All right. Well, uh, I, I feel like I'm... Oh, because I'm under the overhang here. It's giving me the cave, um, cave map. There we go. Uh, if we zoom in here... We're not registering. Okay, well, whichever. I think that we got her. I didn't see a name tag on the, the Leoplerodon we named, so even if she did grow bigger than Poseidon somehow, she's, you know, it still should be, we should, should be good. All right. Anyway, that's taken care of. Now, uh, we're going to head over to the top of the park because I've been doing some work up there. Oh, actually, first we need to head by the uh, the lab here. Um, but while we're doing that, I want to kind of start my, my talk with you guys. Um, so, um, not that... Not that this is going to change a whole lot for you guys, because honestly, this this series has been on a tiny bit of a hiatus um, for a couple of months anyway. Ever since we hit the episode 100, um, or even even kind of leading up to it, because as I was trying to prep for episode 100, um, we kind of got to a point where um, I was like needing more and more time between episodes to actually accomplish things, because I, I had given myself the benchmark, all right, I want the front of the park done by the time we get to episode 100. Um, and let's see, uh, okay, we do have we do have a couple of Smilodon DNAs, so that's awesome. So we'll we'll do this. We'll hope for a female. We do still have oh. We're very bouncy because our beacon is a boost, jump boost or something now. Um, all right. Put the smile on in here. Where is Science Cal? There he is. Um, so it's not going to potentially change a whole lot for you guys, but I wanted to let you guys in on the on what's going on either way. Because um, for, for the summer, June and July specifically, now obviously some of this content that you're seeing, specifically like this episode, is coming out in June. Uh, but that's because I pre-recorded a bunch of stuff. Um, and or decided once I made this decision that I needed to get at least one more episode out of each series to kind of let everybody who watch those series know what's going on. Uh, but June and July, at the minimum, I'm going to be taking a break from YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be cutting back on pretty much all of my content creation. I'm not going to be streaming anymore. Um, and potentially streaming won't even come back after after the, the, the hiatus is over. But um, I've got some things i got to take care of in my personal life. Um, and uh, I just I need a break. I need a vacation to kind of get some things back in order, to take care of some other projects, things like that. Um, and I've been doing YouTube for like three, no, not three, four plus years now. Um, my my four-year YouTube anniversary was in April. So, um, you know, by the time this, this break will be over, it'll be four and a half years, basically, that we've been doing YouTube. Uh, well, no, that, not quite, really. But uh, anyway, uh, because that's going to be like the beginning of November's year and a half. But the point being, I need a break. Um, I've been putting a lot of of myself, a lot of time, a lot of everything into um, into this YouTube thing for the last four four plus years, and uh, I've let some other things slide. Um, you know, specifically health related stuff. I haven't been doing a lot of like exercising because you know I work a desk job and then I come home and I do a desk. You know, I, my hobby is a desk job sort of thing. You know, um, all that kind of stuff. And it's amazing how when you uh, you sit at a computer all day for your job, and then you come home and you sit up at a computer all morning and night and everything like that. Um, how little exercise one actually gets. Um, and so, oh, we've got people just escaping all over the place. Esmeralda, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be in your case. So, I've put on, you know, I'm like 40 to 50 pounds overweight right now. Um, and my health, my family on both sides has some health-related concerns. Um, uh, on both my mom and my dad's sides, uh, in terms that, you know, are connected to obesity and things like that. And so even, even the members of my family that, you know, managed to stay healthy, uh, you know, eventually will, you know, fall prey to these sorts of things. And so I need to make sure that, you know, I'm staying as healthy as I can, so I can live as long as I can. Uh, because otherwise if I'm, if I'm unhealthy and then I have things like heart attacks and things like that, um, probably just gonna not survive that kind of stuff. And so what I need to do is I need to take some time. I need to get back into a healthier routine of exercising, you know, daily, or at least the majority of the days of the week. And, ooh, she's getting some nice red patches here. That's, she's turned out really nice. Um, uh, so exercising much more frequently, getting into a healthier routine where, you know, I'm doing, you know, what I need to do on a recurring basis. And then, um, once I'm getting, you know, all the adult stuff I need to do down, uh, then we can look into adding YouTube back into the mix. Um, but I need I need to get the rest of that stuff kind of uh, under control, and then then I'll start worrying about um, 
you know, where where and when I can put YouTube uh, in this in this instance. Uh, so I hope that makes sense. We actually I want to I want to mess with Azo here real quick. Um, Azo uh, is our first and only uh, currently employee of the park. Um, he was a, a donator. For, if you donate seven dollars uh, on PayPal, uh, you get to become an NPC in the park. Um, and I, I picked seven dollars. It used to be the seven dollar tier reward on Patreon, uh, but I decided, you know, I don't need like a monthly recurring thing for that. Uh, but I decided to keep seven dollars because it's kind of an, a strange number. Like nobody's gonna donate seven dollars unless they want to be a. And so I know if I see a seven dollar donation come in, then I can figure out all the information I need from that person. Um, but uh, Azo has donated, and he is a Dynanicus trainer here, so he makes his rounds checking on the Dynanicus, things like that. If I can figure out a way to do, I haven't had time to really mess with it since uh, since we put him in. But if I can figure out a way to path him into the the enclosure to in interact with the Dynanicus as well, I will do that. I think if I use plain old oak doors. Uh, he should be able to interact with those, go through them, and come into the enclosure and out. I'll just have to figure out a way to do that so it doesn't look terrible with the enclosure that we're doing. But he can't interact with, like, uh, uh, carpenter doors and things like that. But, um, as those commented on that episode, because we were messing with the size a little bit, he commented, you know, I wonder what I would look like... Oh, there's my phone dropping. I wonder what I would look like as size 1. Because I think we messed with the sizes a little bit. Uh, and so, um, we're going to make him size 1 because he's a little spider person. <laughs> oh, God, he's so cute. <laughs> little tiny Azo, and he's kind of jumping there. Size one might be a little bit of an issue. Let's see if he continues pathing. I wonder if he's almost glitching through the floor there. Yeah, that size might not work. Let's bump him up to two. Let's see what that does for him. And we set him up where he makes a little spider sounds. Like so maybe we'll, maybe we'll leave him on two for now. <laughs> One didn't seem to work, but two he seems to be doing okay, uh, and so we'll let uh, little little spider Azo wander around. He's the Dynamicus trainer. Uh, he's small and agile enough to stay out of their grasps, but uh, but yeah. All right, so there we go. Azo wanted to see what he would look like small, so that's what we're gonna leave him as for now because he's a little spider dude anyway. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be taking a break from YouTube this summer. Uh, they say it takes a month to two months to really get get some habits uh, or get you know. Something to make something a routine or a habit sort of thing. Um, and I've spent the last four and a half years making my routine and habit sitting at my computer doing nothing um, but YouTube. Uh, playing video games, all that stuff. And I'll still be playing some video games. I might still accomplish some things in the park um, while we're gone. You know, things... Look at this stupid hotel that's still, you know, not in... not really working. Um... I've spent some more time playing around with the Constance NPCs. I think we pretty much need to put an elevator in right here, uh, and that'll take us up to the upper levels. Um, but, uh, you know, the elevator's looking, or the, the hotel's looking nice. We've got our nice fish tank here. Looks like they're doing some spawn and stuff like that. Uh, but we've got we got a lot of work still to do on this hotel that was supposed to be done for the world download. I did not end up making it there. Um, but, um, but yeah, so there, I may still do some work in the park. I may not. It, it's just going to kind of depend. But, you know, video games are still kind of my relaxing time. And, you know, while I need to get into a healthy routine of doing some exercising, while I need to get into a better habit of doing, you know, work around the house and, and actually working on productive things um, as opposed to always doing YouTube, um, I, I still, you know, I still am going to need that relaxment time. And so we'll be, we'll still be doing some gaming, but... Um, for the months of June and July, I'm not going to really be doing any content creation. I'm not going to be streaming, I'm not going to be doing YouTube, uh, with the exception of, I do have two story-based series, um, Pokemon Crystal Wedlock and Pokemon Showdown Grey version, which I know probably don't appeal to anybody who watches this series a whole lot, but, um... Those are two series that are story-based, they have an end in sight, and they're actually reasonably close to being completed as is. Uh, and so I'm going to be finishing out those series. Um, I think Showdown Grey version, like, only has one or two weeks left in it in the first place. And then, um, you know, there's a handful of episodes left in the wedlock, but uh, that'll be quick enough for me to be able to finish up. All right, so there we got, we got the Smile It On embryo. Um, so those two are going to continue on, but my Minecraft series, which Minecraft is really the, takes the bulk of the time, um, and, uh, so those, the Minecraft series, which don't have an end in sight, will never end until I just disappoint somebody by saying, all right, I'm no longer doing Jurassic World, I'm no longer on Time Shot, I'm no longer, which I don't want to do, because, well, we've done a hundred episodes of this series, and I could probably just say, all right, we did a hundred episodes, you guys finish the park as you see fit with the world download, and let me know what you do, but otherwise I'm done. 
I could do that, uh, and it would disappoint a lot of people, and it would disappoint me, because even just in, in the prep that I've done for this episode, which, again, it took me an hour or two to accomplish. Ooh, that guy is uh, climbing up there. Hopefully he's okay. Um, you know, it took me a while to do this, but, it, you know, it was it was just chill tinkering and, and all of that. Um, but I did it when I had time, and I did it, you know, for myself and things like that. Um, I, I still... I. This is my favorite part in the whole park. I, I, I say that every time I come through here, but I love this spiral mountain thing with all of our little diorama enclosures and everything. Um, but uh, Minecraft series is such a huge time sink. It, it, it'll take me ten times the time to do a Minecraft episode than it will to do like a Pokemon Crystal Wedlock episode sort of thing. Um, and so with that in mind, I just I really need to take a step back, especially from my Minecraft series, um, and I'm taking a step back, I say from all of YouTube, which I will be, um, you know, besides the story-based series, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much crank all of the rest of that out in, like, one weekend, um, and then that'll come out as, as needed, um, but otherwise I'm not gonna be doing any kind of content creation and stuff, and I think that'll be good for me, um, I can't lie to you and say that it's gonna be good for the channel in the long run, because honestly, once I get my healthy routine back in place, once I, you know, I get in the habit of exercising regularly, and, uh, and doing all these other things I should be doing, you know, I've got, I've got professional stuff I need to do, because I've been applying to some jobs, and I haven't really been hearing back, um, and being in a skill-based industry, um, I'm a web graphic designer, you know, social media marketer, I, I, I wear all these hats, um, and I haven't really, like, I've updated my resume as time has gone on because I've been applying to jobs, but my portfolio especially has taken a hit. I haven't really done a whole lot of work on my portfolio since I graduated, really. I mean, I've done I've updated a couple of things here or there, uh, but I have I still have a lot of stuff in my portfolio that was in was college projects and stuff like that. Um, and so, you know, I've I've been sending my portfolio and resume out to people, and I've not been hearing back. And so, uh, I, I'm as a, as a, as evidenced by by that, I've you know become irrelevant in the professional sphere. And if I ever lose my current job, I'm really screwed in in that case. So I need to I need to take some time. I need to up my skills, up my portfolio. I need to get in a place where you know I'm marketable again for that. Um, I need to. I, there's just just a lot of stuff, you know, health wise, professional wise, personal wise. You know, I, I, I've definitely, you know, I used to be an extremely thoughtful, forward-thinking forward person. Um, and, you know, any time a holiday would come up, I would always be Johnny on the spot. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't need anyone to remind me. I'd always, I'd always have, you know, a gift or a card or something in the mail, you know, ready to go. Um, all that kind of stuff. And um, I just, I've not been the best husband or brother or uncle or son or uh, whatever that I could have been. Um, you hungry, Diego? Um, and, and so I want to take some time, I want to get back, you know, get YouTube off my plate, um, because really, it's, it, you know, I've tried in the past to, to make room for these other things with YouTube still being there, uh, and it's been unsuccessful. I've been like, well, I'm going to cut back on episodes a week, I'm going to cut back on my schedule, I'm not going to be as, I'm not going to do the schedule, I'm going to just do schedule less, because it used to be like, Jurassic World would come out every Wednesday or whatever, um, and then I went schedule less, and, uh, I thought that would help, because I'd be like, oh, well, I won't feel pressured to have to get an episode out on Wednesday. Uh, but instead, what that meant was, okay, so I don't have any shackles on me at all, I'll just produce whatever content I want whenever I want to produce it, and it'll come out, and I ended up putting out, like, twice as much content as I was doing previously, and so nothing ever happened with my other projects there, um, you know, I cut back to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but then, you know, you count in the subscriber engagement series, and the streaming, and the other thing, and, and you know, I was, I was still putting out as much, you know, putting as much time into YouTube as I was doing before, and... So in the end, it's just I've got to clear the slate. I've got to get all of this stuff off my plate, and um, and then put you know more adult things on there. And then once I get all my plate filled back up with what needs to be there, we'll come back and uh, and what the channel will look like then. I don't know. I, I honestly don't see a world where I can continue. I can be a healthy functioning member of the adult world. And also do three Minecraft series. Right now I have Time Shot, I have Jurassic World, I've got Patreon, my Patreon Pixelmon server. Um, and I, there's no way I'm going to be able... I, I don't know. We, we might, I, I don't know what that's going to look like. Because I, I can't say goodbye. Like, personally, I love all three of these series. Like, I could say, yeah, we've done 100, 100 episodes of this. Sorry, Jurassic World's gone. But, like, even, even just like this. So we, we opened up the top of the park last time. We brought Diego up here, and so spending the time like laying in where I want his enclosure to be, I worked on I worked on this, um, which is all brand new since you guys have last seen it. And I, I made this. There was like this this structure here, and so I made this kind of wrap around 
um, walkway, kind of like what we had over in the Dragon Den, although kind of reversed, um, because we're wrapping around something here as opposed to wrapping inside of something. But we've got this, it wraps up here, and then once we get up top here, uh, then it connects to this, this rope bridge sort of thing, uh, and will carry us up to another section of the park, uh, of the top of the park here. And I'm so excited to get into the top of the park here. Like, I can't just say, okay, 100 episodes, we're done with this series, moving on to other things, because I'm so excited about where we're going with the series right now. Like, I want to continue doing this series, but at the same time, like, Time Shot is, is a big part of my life, and... Um, you know, we're, we're potentially adding some new members soon, and uh, people are really kind of getting a kick to start being active there again, and I love the community over there, and, you know, I can't say goodbye to a time shot, and I, you know, the pic Pixelmon, I love, pic Patreon, or, uh, you know, so Pixelmon is probably, like, my, my least work-involved, most enjoyable series. Um, it most, like, I love Pixelmon, um, and I get to play that with my Patreons, and, and all of that, and, so I can't, you know, that one might become more more intermittent. I don't, I don't know what it, I don't know what it's gonna look like. And the fact of the matter is, I can't even, I can't even speculate. You know, we'll we'll do our two months, and I'll come back, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. Um, I need to get this stupid cow gestating. I really hope that he's not going to try and eat the cow. Does not appear that he's going to. So we're gonna inseminate that cow. I'm gonna pick all this up. Um, but uh, but yeah, so I can't e I can't even really speculate. I know that uh, YouTube will look different when I come back because there's no way it can't. But at the same time, I don't know what that picture is going to look like. Uh, I will for sure. I mean, I'm definitely coming back because I can. I, I can already tell that right now, I can. If I were to cut out all of my Minecraft series and just do like one or two story-based series at a time, I could do that. I could. I could manage that without cutting in on any of these other things I should be doing. But um, then, where does that leave me with my Minecraft series? Do I do like one story-based series and one Minecraft series? But then, which Minecraft series do I do? Um, you know, all these sorts of things swirling around in my head, and I'll take a couple months, and I'll get my life back in order, and uh, I'll give it some thought, and uh, we'll see where it comes out. You know, may maybe this series goes on a break for a little while, and maybe, you know, I think, like, summer of 2018, you know, so, like, a year from now is when the next Jurassic World movie's coming out, and, and this kind of came out, this series kind of started just before the last Jurassic World movie came out, uh, which is kind of why I think probably it got such a huge boost is what it did, because, I mean, we've, my, like, we've got 20,000 plus views, I think, on that first episode, um, and, uh, and, and, you know, thousands of views on all the preceding episodes sort of thing, so, I mean, I think largely that was because with the algorithm, I just, I mean, it wasn't really, like, intentional to capitalize on that, but, um, you know, I think people were searching Jurassic World, people were excited about it, and my series was coming up, and we got tons of traffic because of it, um, and I don't know, maybe, maybe we, we, we wait and kind of see, you know, and come back to this series, uh, back when it's a little more relevant, uh, get some other people in here, I don't know, I don't necessarily want to do that, but at the same time, I don't know, I don't know. Um, and so I just want, I wanted to let you guys know, I'm taking a break, um, from YouTube for a whole host of reasons. I would suggest you guys, uh, I've talked about it in my other series in Time Shunt, um, and in, um, uh, I, I did a vlog of it as well. Um, and, but I know, like, twice as many people watch this series as watch even Time Shunt, uh, maybe even more than that. Maybe, like, three times, four times the people watch this series as watch Time Shunt, so... Um, and, and more people probably watch Time Shot than watch the vlog sort of thing, so I know that I was missing people. I wanted to make sure that in each series I kind of laid that out for you guys. Uh, it's just something I have to do. It's just something I have to do, and after so long doing this series and doing YouTube in general, um, I think it'll be nice to get a break away and to kind of, like, break the addiction of YouTube, um, because YouTube is an addiction, for sure. Um, you, you kind of, you start doing it and you get the endorphin high, people start watching, people start liking, people start commenting, people start subbing, all these things, and that's, that's exciting. And then, you know, as time goes on, you know, yeah, you know, when you first started out, you only needed 10 likes or 10 views to really get excited about it, but now, you, now you got 2,000 subscribers, so you, you know, 10 views is a slap in the face sort of thing, and, 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 and so you, you, you know, you get this addiction going, and, and you need more and more and more all the time to, to sustain it, and, you know, and, and you just get numb to the other, I mean, it's like, it's like, a, it's a textbook addiction YouTube is, um, and so we're gonna break that addiction, and I think, you know, it'll be hard at first, because it's, it's pretty much been all I've done for the last four and a half years, and, I, and I, I don't mean all I've done, I mean, obviously, like, you know, one night a week, we've got small group stuff, and, you know, another night of the week, I've, I mean, like, I mean, I'm not doing literally, like, not leaving my house sort of thing, but in terms of, like, personal projects and all of that, I've done nothing but YouTube for the last, uh, for the last four years, so, um, 
it, it'll be it'll be nice, I think, and it'll be tough for you guys. I'm sure it'll be tough for me. Um, and uh, we may have to say goodbye to some series that we we love just because feasibly I've got to put my real life before my you know I gotta I gotta take a break from being torn with the gray for a minute, and I've got to put you know be me. And uh, and then we'll figure out where 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 if and where I can fit Torment of the Gray back in, um, and uh, and that'll be tough. It'll be tough, but I think it'll be good in the long run. I think I will be happier, and um, and hopefully my content will be better coming back uh, with that all of that uh, uh, being said and done. Oh my gosh, this cow is taking forever. Um, but uh, but yeah, so um, I, I'm just so excited about where we're going with the park, and so uh, eventually this series will come back. Whether it's immediately after my break, whether it, we take a little break and it comes back, you know, a year or so down the line. Like I don't know. I, I hate saying that, uh, but it it might be what happens. I'm not sure. Um, it'll just kind of depend on where my where my schedule allows and where my heart lies when we come back. Um, and I know this series has been a little bit intermittent. Uh, as it's been, just because, you know, we did the 100 episodes, I kind of burned myself out uh, trying to get to that 100 episode line mark uh, to get everything done for the world download. I don't even think anybody downloaded the world download. I haven't heard from anybody that they've been playing with the thing. I haven't heard from anybody that they, uh, um, you know, were having issues with. Like, it, I, I figured if people were actually downloading this thing and playing with it, that I would be getting some messages like, oh, the mods aren't working. Even though I asked, like, I can't help you, somebody would have said something if there was, you know, widespread people using it. And so... Uh, nobody's playing with it, and that's fine, but I burnt myself out trying to get to it, um, and even though this is my most viewed series, it's, it's, you know, well, and it's not just this series, because all of my Minecraft series are going away, uh, for a little bit, and, uh, I, I'm just, I'm recovering old ground at this point, I'm, uh, but I hope you guys understand, if you have any questions or anything like that, put them in the comments down below, um, I'm still, uh, I'm still excited about this, this series will definitely come back, I will definitely come back, uh, because I'm taking a break from pretty much all of YouTube, um, for the most part, um, but, uh, it's something I need to do, it's something I need to do, there's, there's far more important things in lives, in life than playing video games and, and, you know, doing YouTube and things like that, and I'm gonna go see what some of those things are, and, uh, and then we'll, then we'll come back, uh, as we're able, but yeah, anyway, guys, um, leave me, uh, leave me, well, let's, let's take a quick cut here, I guess, um, because I want to get this stupid, <laughs> I, I waited way too long to put that thing down, I'm not sure why I did that, um, Let's let's cut real quick. Let's birth this little uh, little saber tooth here, and then we'll see what we've got. If it's another male or another feet, or hopefully we'll get a female. Because I think Diego, these do actually have genders now, right? Oh, I lost the beacon. Um, these do actually have genders. I'm pretty sure Diego is a male. Yes, and he's extremely happy. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get a little female here. Uh, that we can uh, that we can make a little pair there, uh, but I want to get some name suggestions from you guys uh, at least, and uh, and then we'll we'll come back at some point and name the little bugger. But uh, yeah, thank you guys. Uh, let's for uh, for listening to my little talk there. Um, let's jump ahead real quick and get this little little cat born, and uh, we'll see what we got. Alrighty, guys, there we go. We just saw the little hearts pop up. This little bugger was just born. Excuse me, Mama Cow. Let's see what we've got. It is a female. All right. Awesome. Um, and she is a little hungry, so let's see if we can't get her to eat some. There we go. The Smilodon is full. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got a brand new little baby female. Uh, that's awesome. Let's get this cow out of here. Uh, we'll hold on to this cow for further further birthing needs, I would imagine. Um, but uh, oop, she's up and then she's down. And All right, so Diego... Uh, has now got a little lady friend, so you guys can give me your name suggestions on what you want her to be called. I'm going to pop on out of here. Um, but yeah, I hope I covered everything that I needed to cover. I've given this talk several times now. In fact, my first vlog that I put out... In fact, go, make sure you guys go watch that vlog, if you have not already, uh, because I'll, I cover pretty much everything in there as well, uh, and probably do it much better. So if you have any questions or concerns, put a comment in the... or put something in the comments and I'll respond to you. Um, I'll still be around in the Discord and on YouTube responding to comments and things like that. And I'll still be on Twitter and, and you know, I'll, I'll still be around. I'm not, like, abandoning people, but um, I'm just not going to be doing as much content creation. Um, so, um, but yeah. Uh, so, if you have any questions, go watch that vlog. If you have questions, you know, send me a message um, and we'll figure it out. But um, I hope I've covered everything well enough for you guys. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to have to do this, but it's just, you know... In the end, you gotta do some. You gotta make sure you're taking care of yourself uh, before before any of this kind of stuff. As fun as this is, as much as I love it, um, 
it can't be the top priority of my life. I've got to I've got to get all my other ducks in a row, uh, and then <laughs> this will be the last duck in a row. And wherever I've got free time, I'll fit it. And um, you know, we we don't have kids or anything yet. That free time exists. I just have to you know make sure it's actual free time and not something I'm taking away from something else. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna take a break, a couple of months. Um, figure out what that routine is, get it established, come back once I trust myself, and uh, and we'll get back on our adventures uh, in one form or another. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Tormund the Great, and you guys have been great. Uh, we're adding to our park still, and uh, and I'm very excited about it. I can, I can hear those little copies chirping still. I guess they're not that far away, but yeah, I guess they're still just right there. Um, but and in fact, they're even... They're like directly under like this... this Hill here. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I've been Torment the Great, and you guys have been great. Thank you guys so much for the support on this series. Um, I really, I really do greatly appreciate it. Um, so much of, you know, me continuing to want to do YouTube is because you guys have been so awesome, uh, and all of my viewers have been so awesome in their support over the years that it's, it's just a, an awesome little community that we have here. And I, it pains me to step away from it for a bit, but, um, we will come back. We will come back and stronger than ever. Um, at least, you know, Personally, uh, I will be stronger, and uh, and I think I think things will be better in the long run. Uh, getting this better established, it'll mean the probably in the long run mean the longevity of the channel. I won't have to give it up because I've already kind of fit it in where where it will fit. Um, so uh, taking taking some action now before we have to take even more dra drastic action later. Um, and I think that'll work out better in the long run. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Torment the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comment, subscriptions for me, guys, and I will see you all back here next time in the Jurassic World, uh, whenever that will be. Alrighty, guys, have a good one.